dear learners welcome back to lesson 2 in the previous lesson we saw the predictive analytics introduction its applications its needs and benefits various benefits of predictive analytics now in this lesson we will be seeing the predictive analytics models commonly used and the appropriate algorithms used for them so the various predictive analytics model are first is the classification model this model will predict the class labels or categories for the new data by deriving inferences from input values that is the training data next one is the clustering model this model identifies groups of similar records and labeling the records according to the group to which they belong the next one is the forecast model this is used to predict future revenues expenses and capital costs for a business the next one is the outlier model this detects anomaly data and the fraudulent data the next one is the time series model this model captures data over a period of time for prediction so with the existing models the major algorithms that are used for creating the predictive models are as follows the first one is the random forest model this algorithm creates multitude of decision trees at training time and outputting the class that is the mode of classes or mean prediction of individual trees this is capable of handling both classification and regression to classify large data the second algorithm is generalized linear model this is used for analyzing the effects of continuous variables on a discrete or continuous dependent variable it helps in predicting the behavior of complex systems financial and biological data the next one is the gradient boosted model this produces a prediction model in the form of an ensemble of other weak prediction models this builds the model in a stage wise fashion and generalizes them by allowing optimization of an arbitrary differentiable loss function the next is k means algorithm this algorithm finds k clusters in a set of data where cluster is a group of data points with similar features that are grouped together the centroids of k clusters are used to label the new data the next algorithm is named profit algorithm this is used mainly for prediction of time series data that have strong seasonal effects and several seasons of historical data the next one is the linear model if this uses the statistical method linear regression for predictive model construction the next one is the decision tree which is also known as classification and regression tree or cart in short this is a sequence of branching operations depicted in the form of tree based on comparisons of some quantities the comparisons being assigned unit computational cost the next one is support vector machine which is used in machine learning for classification this segregates two classes with the hyperplane this is commonly used for classification sometimes for clustering also next one is the naive bayes algorithm this naive bayes classifier assumes the presence of one feature in a class that is not related to any other this is every pair of feature being classified as independent of each other dear learners in this lesson we saw the various models and algorithms that are used for creating the predictive model we'll be continuing lesson 3 with the use of predictive models in supply chain management happy learning